episode 5. Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today we're gonna give some ski tips and calling some tricks. That's, did I say it wrong? Today ski, we're ti ski tips and calling tricks? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. it rhymes. Ski tips and calling tricks. Yeah, and we're gonna do some not so easy tricks and some somewhat easy kind of. <laughs> what? We're not gonna do easy tricks. Yeah, they'll be actually a bit hard. <laughs> but you'll like it. Let's hit it. That was a ski slide to a hippie killer. Pro shout out to Line Traveling Circus. They made that trick look cool. All right, I'm gonna do my first attempt at this weird one ski to hippie killer. I'm a little concerned, but to reduce my concern, I tried it just in a box slide, like thinking about the timing. And I think I got it now, so I'm dropping. Ah, uh, yeah, not quite. Next one, more commitment. Well, we'll see what Josh tells me I have to do better. <laughs> now I saw you, you're really standing kind of tall. Yeah, I'm getting a really good pop over the kink actually. Uh -huh. I'm actually really popping off that leg. And then all I think of is like, bring it like over that way. Like, I think it makes a little bit of sense. Yeah, but yeah, get a, get a bigger pop, I reckon. Let's see if I get it. Like, it's round. a full commitment thing on this. Full commitment? Yeah, like, you literally gotta. It doesn't feel so scared, no. It feels no, it, it works. Yeah, right. yeah. Try again. All right, let's get this weird thing. I feel like it's just fine. I kinda did. He never said 270 out, though. <laughs> it was a trick, but not a 270, so. That's all right, I'll leave it with that. Yeah, you didn't get the kick hard enough. Yeah, well, I feel like that. <laughs> Do you want to call it? Uh, no, it's your call. I got other um, calls. Fast slide on this down roll because you inspired me to learn this and I kind of want to show you it. Yeah, I've you been really working on it uh, during one of the last camps. You're liking it now? Yeah, I like it a lot. Right. And here's the tips I got from Josh weeks ago. Take a fabulous speed and really dare to stand on the whole foot and like lean forwards a little bit because it's a down rail. How do you like those tips? Yeah, exactly. Like for me, like it's called fast slide for a reason. So fast you want to go quite fast. Or makes front it slide. Makes it I easier. Yeah. Is yeah. it also called front slide? Yeah, yeah, you can say front foot. The slide. front foot. All right, let me show you. <laughs> nice you one. You commit to switch, don't you? Uh, yeah, it's Just easier. Forward. Way. Yeah, yeah. Forward is like so much shifty motion, makes it like uns more unstable. Uh -huh. yeah. Nice. Stop the speed, commit the switch. Woo. I feel like I've learned it yeah. now. Yeah, yours was cleaner than mine. I, got, I was too much on the edge. Well, we'll see what the people in the comments say. You can still win. Maybe, maybe I get side yeah. Because you were like that? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> no, but I definitely slipped off a bit. Like you had it on. Yeah. Here's a, here's a cleaner for sure. Thanks. This is very down. Let's come up from the side. Uh -huh. Like 180 up. 180 up. 180 up. And then try to slide it back towards the takeoff. Ah. It helps when you actually come from like far under. So you get some momentum going up the hill actually. All right. Then you don't have to fully balance. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Cool, let's yeah. try it. You should uh, record that GoPro right. and then it'll be rad. Right. Ah! <laughs> oh! oh, it felt so good. I was a little scared <laughs> because I have to spin a natural and I can't wait for next run to try this again. <laughs> I did not see that one coming. <laughs> Screw that trick. Did you try to do something like that? No, no, no. I just <laughs> overcooked the speed. <laughs> overcooked it. <laughs> yeah, like that 180 up makes it super hard to get the right balance on the top. Yeah, it's tricky. Yeah. But nice, that was funny. <laughs> that, that was exciting. 
All right, should we try two prets four here? Shit, yes. Do you do you do unedy two and then? No, I'm gonna go for natural two and do the unnatural slide. No, natural left two on and then. All right, I'll yeah. do unedy two on and then I get, get my strong. natural spin up. Oh yeah, that's a good tip to yeah. make it easier. Yeah. My tip is the normal two on tip that you want to under rotate the two and kind of use a bit of counter rotation on it so you can land on it before your body has finished it. Lock, wind up, and a snap and do it the other way. Let's see if we can get it. Yeah. Ah. I don't know, I was kind of close. Ah. Ah, almost. <laughs> that was like the last one I did. Shuffle oh. out 90. Close. Next round. I'm afraid have. I can't give it to you yet. No. No! Too much! Well done, buddy. <laughs> well done. Finally, all yeah. morning. Yeah. That felt uh, really nice. Yeah. So yeah, that's a really easy trick. We don't need to give much more advice than that. <laughs> right, Josh? Yeah, no, too easy. <laughs> all right, uh, 180 mu crab with this fun little jump. Yeah. Um, what I'd like you to think about, you viewer, is keep looking at the landing on 180 mu crabs all through the whole trick and like drop the knees, like get the grab, drop the knees to get like the mute on your back. Oh, that was actually helpful. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right, I'll, uh, I'll show you a little demo. I don't know, I thought too much of your knee dropping thing because I really think that's something I haven't tried yet. Then I kind of didn't go for the grab enough. Try it another time. It feels yeah. pretty good yeah. for like an extreme mute tweak. Mm. Mine didn't get as extreme as I was planning. Yeah. It was, it was yeah. a small jump. Yeah. So on this C rail, I'm gonna do a lip on to K fed. Um, when doing this on uh, C rails like this, you wanna have quite little speed, so you're not tipping into the turn that much. That you can slide the rail with the skis a bit more flat, then it's easier. Let's give it a go. Ah. <laughs> nice one. I don't like, like the look of that transfer wall right there. Like it really hits your ski tips hard. Like one time I did it, like I was planning to go up like that. Uh -huh. I literally just like, bam, like did like a 180 swap with uh -huh. me. Just like. What's your advice for something like that? Like for something like that, like you gotta, man, like oh, this is a, such a steep wall. So it like really bends your skis. Uh -huh. So you just gotta be prepared for that impact uh -huh. and really kind of hold against it. But like you also need that steep wall so it actually bounces you up there, right? So you need a certain speed. But like, like at the feet in front of you, maybe like boom. Yeah, maybe a little bit out. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, but it's like, whew. I chicken out in it, I'm like, <laughs> no, I'm too, my body's too precious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, let us know in the comments who do you think threw the better tricks. Was it Gens over here? Or do you agree more with me? And yeah, like and subscribe, Jens. And see you in the next one. Yeah. Thanks for watching.